Pope Francis arrived a few minutes before the scheduled time in Morocco. At Rabat Airport, even though the weather was not favorable, he was received with honors by the country's authorities. The delegation was led by the Moroccan king, Mohammed VI, who greeted the Pope affectionately. Then, with Pope Francis in the Pope Mobile and King Mohammed VI in another open vehicle, the two traveled about 10 kilometers together through the streets of Rabat to reach the Hassan Tower. It is the minaret or the tower that calls the Muslims to pray near the mosque that bears the same name. Hundreds of people braved the rain to receive the Pope throughout the city streets. The Band of Honor's music received Pope Francis and the King upon arriving at the Hassan Tower. The Pope then greeted the country's authorities one by one. Then King Mohammed VI delivered a speech in several languages, such as the Pope's mother tongue Spanish and also English. Radicalism, whether it is motivated by religion or not, is due to failure to know one another, to ignorance of the other, and to ignorance pure and simple. Knowing one another eliminates radicalism, all type of radicalism. Knowing one another is precisely what is going to help us rise to the challenges of our tormented times. After the king's words, Pope Francis delivered his first speech in Morocco. He began by thanking the people for such a warm welcome. He wanted to highlight the importance of building bridges between different religions in order to build a better society. The Pope said there is no room for any form of extremism. È quindi essenziale per partecipare all'edificazione di una società aperta, plurale e solidale, sviluppare e assumere costantemente e senza cedimenti la cultura del dialogo come strada da percorrere la collaborazione come condotta, la conoscenza reciproca come metodo e criterio. È infatti indispensabile opporre al fanatismo e al fondamentalismo la solidarietà di tutti i credenti, avendo come riferimento inestimabile del nostro agire i valori che ci sono comuni. The Pope said that for interreligious dialogue to be authentic, it must be founded in mutual respect. Ecco perché la libertà di coscienza e la libertà religiosa, che non si limita alla sola libertà di culto, ma deve consentire a ciascuno di vivere secondo la propria convinzione religiosa, sono inseparabilmente legate alla dignità umana. In questo spirito abbiamo sempre bisogno di passare dalla semplice tolleranza al rispetto e alla stima per le altre. The Pope also spoke about immigration, aware that Morocco is a country of passage for many immigrants, especially those with sub-Saharan origin. Si tratta di un fenomeno che non troverà mai una soluzione nella costruzione di barriere, nella diffusione della paura dell'altro o nella negazione di assistenza a quanti aspirano a un legittimo miglioramento per se stessi e per le loro famiglie. The Pope's words led to a roaring applause. He then went to the building, Mosalem of Mohammed V. It's named after the considered founder of modern Morocco. The Pope took off his shoes to enter this monument, where Hassan II, the former Moroccan king, and the father of the current king are buried. After this wreath at the tomb, Pope Francis wrote a message in the Book of Honor. It's a reminder of this visit, a desire for prosperity for Morocco, and that the country remains a common home for Christians and Muslims.